Welcome to the St. Elizabeth of Hungary Chapel here in the parish center of the parish of St. Monica, St. Elizabeth of Hungary, St. Stephen of Hungary in Yorkville, in Manhattan, in New York. It's so wonderful to celebrate Easter yet again today on Tuesday in the octave of Easter. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Hermann Ornés. And once again, we will begin with Mass in just a moment, and we are so glad that you're here with us today.
enemies, and endow your people with your heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to God's word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus, whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments, and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Mary Magdalene, stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, it usually never fails. On my day off, when I am walking down the street in lay clothes, just like anybody else, I will very often pass parishioners, and I'll look right at them, and they'll walk right by me, even though they saw me. And the reason that they don't say anything is because they don't recognize me, because I'm wearing lay clothes. They're so sure that I should look in a particular way, namely with black suit and white collar, that when they see me dressed normally, they do not recognize who I am. It's kind of convenient in many ways, I must admit. It gives me a sense of privacy and whatnot. But at the same time, I always find it so interesting because in so many ways, that's the way we are in life. We go through life thinking that things should look a particular way, things should be a particular way, people should act in a particular way and dress in a particular way, so that when they step outside of that, it's almost as if they're not there at all. It's important to remember that, the fact that our minds can be so set, maybe sometimes even rigid, in terms of what we expect to have and to see and to experience when we hear the stories this week in the uh, masses of the octave of Easter, but even today's story as well. Because Mary Magdalene is sitting weeping at the tomb. She's weeping because her Lord Jesus is dead, her master, her teacher. And somehow the body has been taken and she cannot find that body. And when Jesus appears before her, she doesn't recognize him. She thinks he's the gardener of all people and demands to be taken to the body of her dead teacher. It's only when he calls her by name that she realizes who he really is. She doesn't recognize him, but she does. He's not there, but he is. And she experiences his presence in a new, definitive way. It wasn't what she expected but it was nonetheless the presence of her risen Lord. These stories are told precisely to teach the early community, the early Chris, Christian community something that we would, be, uh, we would do well to learn today. And that is just because we do not see Jesus in the way his disciples saw him, just because we did not experience the resurrection in the way we think we should experience it, doesn't mean that he is not risen and does not mean he is not here with us. Sometimes it just means that we have to open our eyes, open our minds, open our hearts to see Jesus in those places that he promised that he would be, in bread and wine, in water and oil, in the gathered community, in the proclaimed word of God. These stories undergird that understanding that because Jesus is risen, that, means, that doesn't mean he's nowhere. That means he can be anywhere he wishes. And he comes to us, even through the computer, to speak to us so that we might pray to him and with him to the Father. In this time where we cannot gather as the body of Christ, 
Never make the mistake of thinking that the body of Christ isn't here. For he is risen from the dead. He's in you. He's in me. And when we gather together, our teacher is with us once again. Amen. 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 Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. For all members of the church, may the risen Lord inspire our witness to the gospel each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God guide them in working together to address the needs of the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are discouraged by illness, may God bring them full healing of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. For catechists and those who minister to this faith community and the liturgy, may God bless their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Hermann Arnaz, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Good and loving God, we commend into your hands all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated as we make ready the altar and prepare our gifts. <laughs> Sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accepting compassion, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. destroyed our death, 
and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they aflame. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Herman, Ornez, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Monica, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, Saint Stephen of Hungary, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we too may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer to one another now a sign of peace. <laughs> Oh 